Well, I just got done with this wall. Um, I guess it's pegboard, right? And I just got done putting it up. There's a lot of things on here. I'm gonna kind of go over some of the reasons why I did it and how I did it and what I have up here and so on and so forth. So let's check it out. So you guys can see that I have six of these squares here. This isn't like your normal wooden pegboard. This is uh, six squares here. So you got a, a square here, you got a square here, 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 and here. And they latch together. If you can kind of look at the holes that are here. And then you have this little like puzzle piece cut out down here. And then there's another one down here. And basically these, these pieces all fit together. So the idea is it's expandable. You can see this little tab up here. And this whole thing is expandable and you can buy as many pieces as you want. These are, for a single square of these, they're five or six bucks. They're pretty, they're pretty cheap. You can get them at Home Depot. And I think I paid, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks for the whole thing. So it's a little bit more expensive than just your regular pegboard. But you know, I have, 510 so I've got $30 in the pegboard by itself and then probably another $30 in pegs and or just miscellaneous pegs and stuff so <clears throat> that's really where the money is is in is in these pegs these things I think you get like four of them for like two dollars or something like that they're pretty cheap too but anyway the whole the whole process of this is fairly simple all you have to do is with regular pegboard you have to buy wooden like one by twos or something like that to to act as a frame for the pegboard that way the pegs actually fit because if you don't have the wooden frame behind the regular pegboard then it'll just fit flat up against the wall and you won't be able to shove these pegs back in there so you have to lift it off with this plastic pegboard this is like an abs plastic it are, it's already molded away from the wall so all you have to do is basically drill it in, into the wall so I use these wall anchors because you're not going to fit it perfectly on on uh, wall studs. The studs that I have in my wall are 24 inches apart instead of 16 inches apart. If they were 16 inches apart, then you would be able to just drill them directly into a stud because these, these plastic squares here are 16 inches wide. They're 16 inch by 16 inch squares. So you should be able to drill them directly into or screw them directly into a, a wall stud. However, if you're like me and you can't find the wall stud, you get these little wall anchors and these wall anchors are rated up to like 50 pounds or something like that. They're, they're perfect for, I've used these a lot inside my house with really heavy picture frames and they work great. And basically you go pick up a pack of these for like five bucks, you can get them at like Ace Hardware and basically you, you drill a small hole and then you thread this into the wall and then you use this little screw here and you screw the, the squares into those little wall anchors. The whole thing is super strong. You're, you're not gonna be hanging up television sets on these or anything like that. You can hang up all of this stuff with ease just on the drywall by itself. So it works perfect. You can put it up wherever you want and you don't have to worry about making sure that you, that you find wall studs or anything like that. The reason why I did this was, you guys know, I, I've got a lot of a lot of gear, right? I mean, I've got all these hard baits over here. I've got, you know, terminal tackle and jigs and spinner baits and stuff. I've got a whole bunch of soft plastics over here. It was just getting to be too much for when I wanted to go fishing to have to dig through all of the stuff that I have to figure out what I want to use. And then I would have all this miscellaneous stuff. I also, in my, my toolbox here, I've got a, I've got a drawer that I just have dedicated to just miscellaneous fishing stuff. I like this idea because whenever I want to go fishing, I have, you know, these boxes over here that I'm going to take with me and only what fits into these boxes. So, you know, I've got every box here is dedicated to something, but what I have here is like, I've got stuff that I want to fish for Shasta. I can just pull these right off of the wall. I've got stuff that I want to fish for um, like heavy vegetation places like ponds and uh, different backwater and stuff. I can pull these off of the wall. And then all of this miscellaneous stuff, you know, I've got just 
you know, extra rod rod gloves and extra reel cover there. Uh, I've got my broken rod here, I'm waiting to get my new rod sent back to me. Uh, I've got the Kippawa prop, but it's just, you know, my fishing line. I've got miscellaneous stuff, miscellaneous um, hard baits here, miscellaneous jigs and spinner baits and stuff like that. Just stuff that I don't really have a place to put inside of a normal 3700 tackle box. So I really like this setup. I'm not gonna drone on about it forever. I just wanted to show you guys it because I really like it. It's not that expensive and it's something that you guys can do too. And it doesn't take a lot of effort, especially when you use these uh, these wall mounts or these, these wall anchors here. And these are really in, inexpensive. So check them out if you guys get the chance. Uh, again, I got pretty much everything at, at Home Depot, but um, it's, pr it's pretty inexpensive and it definitely solves a problem. And the thing that I like is it's expandable. I can add more up here if I choose to later on, but I kind of like the way it is right now. I could add more on the side over here if I want to later on, but um, it's, it's expandable and it should last a long time because it's made out of plastic. So if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you guys like the wall, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and or Facebook, I'll leave the links in the description and stay tuned for my next video. I've got a couple of them coming out. I've got some stuff about the kayak that I want to talk about. So stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you guys soon.